Eat Asia lands in Chiang Mai. This historical northern town packs a punch with its knockout culinary scene. So come with me as I explore the city's most adored dish, khao soy. In the markets, in the kitchen, and in my tummy. Mm. Be ready for all kinds of delicious up ahead. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bon appetit. Keep eating. <laughs> to eat Asia Chiang Mai. Now we've found out the origin of the dish khao soy, we've got our hands dirty in the kitchen, and now it's time to give you the food guide where we're gonna go to all of Chiang Mai's best khao soy restaurants from high end right through to street stalls to show you where you should be going when you come here to eat khao soy. First up, Chiang Mai resident and blogger, Angela showed me her top khao soy spot, khao soy ni man. Now this is in the center of the city and it's a modern eatery serving many variations of this dish. And we even got to cook our own chicken, vegetarian and sai ua khao soys. Okay, so here we are, obviously at the best part. Now I wanna see how you have your, your khao soy. So you show me. So, khao soy, as we were talking about earlier, is not really that spicy of a dish. Mm -hmm. So, but I actually like the heat. So this is actually a smoky chili paste. Okay. So I'm gonna dip in here and just add a little dash to mine. Mm -hmm. And then I just kind of, you know, mix it in. So some of it's a little spicy, some areas of my broth isn't as spicy. Uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna dive right in. Okay, let's do it. Honestly, this is good, good yes, stuff. Uh-huh. Next up, something more traditional. Okay, so this morning we got a bit of a special tip off from our tuk-tuk driver actually. And we were talking about that we were researching the cuisine in Chiang Mai and specifically khao soy. And he said, you have to go to Huan Fen, which is just in Chiang Mai and it's in the central area and it's close to Chirai Luang. So they've been here 50 years and it's been in one family. And I tell you what, apparently they do the dish really well. And I've got the opportunity to put together one here. So here is my rendition of it. Let's put a little bit more sauce. Let's go eat. The style is laid back lana. This is a great place for people who crave khao soy in the morning because they're open from 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. And the dish here is delicious, no fuss, and very authentic. Now for some delicious decadence. Okay, so we got some insider knowledge that the Shangri-La here in Chiang Mai does something a little different with their khao soy, and that is that they use seafood. So if we have a little look here on the skewer, you can see there's a prawn, there's some fresh squid, there's a mussel and some lime to jazz it up. And now this option here is 350 baht, so it's very different to the street stalls that you're going to find, but to get the fresh seafood and have it barbecued for you and have the sauce, then I think it's worth it, it's really good. You can tell I hate this dish, right? <laughs> We found the next restaurant by mistake, but thank goodness. Khao Soy Landuan Farhan, north of Riverside, actually created khao soy. And owner Kun A told me the story. So how long has this been a restaurant been here for? Mm. This is wrong with Bifi. Um, it's established like uh, for since like after World War II and it started by my grandmom. So this place has a lot of history then. Yeah, it's um, we op we've been open like almost 80 years. She is the ago. she is the fir uh, first person who created this menu. She likes to try the new things and uh, and and she likes to give to the neighborhood after she 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 tests or tries the new things. And so then, she would create something new and then she would give it to the neighbors. To I try guess something. yes, kind of that. And okay. then uh, they just they just really like it and they like it. And then they just said, why don't you open the restaurant? And then she just start and then she start one since that time on. Just as the picture and that that is the first restaurant of us khao soy is origin here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're very proud. I'm very proud of um, of uh, being a, a part of fabulous Chiang Mai. Let me show you. Okay, yeah, you show me. Okay. We're learning from the Chiang Mai khao soy dynasty here. Cheers, Cheers. and Cheers. To khao soy. Okay. <laughs> It's not too creamy, it's not too heavy. Oh my god, this is so good. 
I really had to dig, but Kun A finally told me the secret to their success is the curry paste that takes between two to three hours just to grind. So between 40 to 55 baht, you can get Chiang Mai history in a bowl. This was the perfect end to my Chiang Mai food tour. Behind Chiang Mai University, there is a khao soy place, and it's a street store like you can see here, and they sell really good khao soy. So here I am, just gonna order some. The smell is amazing. Okay, so to give you an idea of the scene we've got here, I'm right by the road, there's all these little tables here, and I've just been served the khao soy. I like the crunch of the vegetables, so let's put a lot of those in there. And then again, some people don't like the shallots, but I think they add sort of a sweetness and a tartness that's good to mix in with the soup. That is really good. You can go to the most amazing restaurants and have a beautiful service and amazing, amazing food. However, you can go straight to the street. You can pay, you know, one or two American dollars and get a delicious, hearty, traditional dish, just like this. And it's an experience as well. So, happy eating. Now the whole idea behind Eat Asia is to go to each destination and taste the ingredients and find out the real recipes of each area. Now in Chiang Mai I feel like I've got a really good taste for khao soy. I know how to get the ingredients, I know how to cook it and of course I know how to enjoy it. But the thing I think I really learned here is that if the people are happy then you can taste it in the food. And that's what I got from Chiang Mai. The people are happy and they're relaxed and the food is fun and easy to eat. But next up, we're going to our next destination which is Koh Samui in Thailand South. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Next episode, I fly down south to sunny Koh Samui, the scenic island with cuisine to match. Now I take on something very spicy and sour and a dish that I promise will explode your taste buds. Is Chiang Mai in your travel plans? If so, we have an incredible opportunity for you to visit an elephant conservation park. Point your web browser to gotodestinations.com and on Chiang Mai to purchase this rewarding experience. Act now for the best savings with a limited time offer. Check out more exclusive iTravel content by clicking on the video tiles and don't forget to subscribe. You can also stay up to date with all things iTravel by following us on Twitter and liking our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.